Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's RV Joe with another episode of As the RV Rolls. So here at the Blue Compass RV, Delaware, Ohio lot, we've got one of our pre-owned units. This is a Cherokee. It's a 2022 Forest River Cherokee 264 DBH. Uh, so it's a bunkhouse and a single slide, but it's really nice. Cherokee does a great job. They've been They've been at the top of the list of best-selling uh, travel trailers for years, so uh, they do a great job. They've got a big market share, and uh, so you'll see why here. I'm going to go through this with you. Please remember, guys, subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. I appreciate you. All right, guys, I'm going to head outside. It's a little windy and noisy. We're kind of by the road here, so bear with me. You can see the Cherokee behind me. I love the color scheme on these. There's the front cap. This is an aluminum sided wood framed unit. You got two 20 pound LPs, power tongue jack, battery sits right there. This is not a pass through. You can see the water heater back there. So this is not a pass through, but there's good storage here. Got the glass front doors, two doors on this. You got an entry door here for the bedroom and one down there for the main entry. You got solid steps down there. Outside speakers, to put a TV out here, there's the bracket for it. Just pull off the TV that's inside and put it out here. There's your furnace exhaust. I like the black aluminum alloy rims here. You do have outside kitchen, you got a beverage cooler, griddle, a little water there too, hot and cold. All right, there's your Moride solid steps into your main entry here. Come back around for that. Big storage here under the bottom bunk. Do a lot with that space. You can leash up a dog. Typical Cherokee's got the cargo rack on the back. Good old lorry right there. I like this light here with the Cherokee emblem on it. Pretty cool. All right, sneaking through here. It's a little tight. Got an exterior light. There's your 30 amp service right there. Sewer exit here. We do have a black tank flush. Slide seals look good. Rack and pinion slide box. Cherokee. All right, hot and cold outside shower, water connection for city water and potable. All right, guys, that's it for the outside. It does have a solar panel on the roof, um, and uh, so it does have a 12 volt refrigerator. I don't have a ladder to get up there, so we're going to forego the roof today. Let's go on inside and take a look, see what we got inside. All right, here's our super slide. U-shaped dinette. Really like these shades. Kind of different. They're day night, but as you pull down, you get some day, then you get some night. Light, dark, light, dark. It's kind of cool, kind of neat looking too. Little accent light up above the frame. Here is a jackknife sofa. So lots of room in this unit. It's a big deep slide, so it gives us lots of floor space. You've got a fireplace that'll kick out some good electric heat. Here's your AM FM Bluetooth radio. Vizio TV here. Got the 15K BTU AC. Nice big uh, pantry here. Huge. Got a disconnect here. CO2 detector. Here's your nice big 12 volt fridge. Very deep. Clean. And freezer. Microwave, they give you a cutting board back here. 
three burner cooktop, oven, cabinets here. You got the kind of the farmhouse style sink. Your steel here. Um, I like these glass front cabinets here. Very classy. You got a shade up here on this skylight. Open that up, get a little more light in here. A couple of drawers on the front here. Coming around. Got our main exit entry. Here's our display board. Your solar readout right there for your battery. USB. Got our teddy bear mattresses on these two these double over double bunks with the ladder built in here. But nice big bright bunks. You do have USB and power. All right, let's go check out this bathroom. Coming on in. It's a tub shower, so you do have the tub here. Got to get up inside that, but it's very bright. Your skylight, it's spacious, got the nice surround on it. So yeah, guys, I'm six foot, so it's a little tight with the tub shower, but definitely can do it. Uh, it's manageable in here, and I've got a lot of elbow room. So here, get that closed off, a little privacy in here. Coming on out of the shower, you got a nice vanity with a huge sink. There we go. This big vanity here, huge. They give you some hooks here, which is nice. Little towel hooks there. And in this, most bathrooms, guys, will have a four inch blade fan. This has got a 10 inch. Um, I believe that's 10 inch, but it's a uh, max fan, so you can bring air in or out. Very nice fan, very powerful. All right, let's head out of the bathroom, get out of there. Look at the floor space here. All right, let's go check out the bedroom. Really like the black wood with the lighter walls. Um, you do have light underneath there. Wardrobes on both sides. Storage above. This is a short queen, 60 by 74. Uh, what's nice about this unit, yeah, you've got your extra entryway here with the shade on it, keep the sunlight out. Back in here, we have on a closet, with a, it, there's a little indentation you can see there, so there's a lot of space here, and then a huge closet for storage in here, in addition to your wardrobes by the side of the bed. Uh, you could put a TV in here. There's your backer and your hookups. Ducted AC in here, so get your coolness going back here. Very comfortable bedroom. Heading back out. Like I said, very spacious, very cool looking, very bright. All right, guys, let's go over some specs on this unit. Uh, again, it's the Cherokee. It's a 2022 Cherokee 264 DBH uh, Blue Compass RV, Delaware, Ohio. Give me a call. Come on down. Check it out. My number here, 937-684-8413. Uh, specs on this. Total length is 33 foot 2 inches. Uh, 11 foot 1 inch to the top of the AC on the height. Dry weight on this is 6760. That's what the brochure says. I did not uh, check on the uh, placard outside, but typically it's a little heavier than what the brochure says. Uh, gross weight is 84.85. Uh, your hitch weight looking at about 8.90 on the on the tongue. Um, fresh tank is 40 gallons, and then your gray and your black are both 38. So I'd say that's pretty average, pretty normal for a travel trailer. You got a 15 foot awning outside uh, with the nice blue accent light underneath. You got USB right here and little wall sconce light here, which I didn't have on earlier, but um, nice accent light right there. So 
come on down, check it out. Can't wait for camping. It's starting to get uh, close to the camping season, and uh, we're excited here at Blue Compass. Sales are picking up, and um, we've got a lot of nice product here, uh, Delaware, Ohio. So come on down, check us out, and uh, we'd love to help you out, get you ready for the season. We're going to be camping soon, so come get one. Enjoy the uh, adventures and all the travels you can in this great country. So um, verse of the day today comes from the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 19. This one's got some special meaning for me. I did a uh, retreat, uh, a weekend retreat, and this was kind of our, our verse of the weekend. Um, and it was middle of winter. There was a pond right outside our door and uh, it was frozen over. So the practice we did didn't really have the effect, but we each got a big old rock and uh, threw it out as far as we could into the, into the pond. Of course, they didn't break through. It was solid ice. Um, but the point was your sins and your iniquities, you want to just take them and hurl them into the ocean and or hurl them into the sea and ask God for forgiveness and repent. So Micah 7:19, you will again have compassion on us. You will tread our sins underfoot. You will hurl our iniquities into the depths of the sea. So this is uh, one of the Old Testament prophets. Um, and I believe this is basically saying how God will um, help us bury our sins and our iniquities. And uh, as long as we have faith, as long as we believe in Him, He will help us get rid of those, that burden. And um, as long as we turn to Him, believe in Him, have faith in Him, uh, He will help us and have compassion on us. One more reminder, guys, please remember to subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. I appreciate you. Uh, guys, please remember to be careful out there, be good to each other, and God bless you all.